Hi, I'm Joe Ryan, an engineer here at Precision Digital. In this video, we're going to give you an overview of our Nova Series product line. The Nova controllers are a complete line of PID temperature controllers for process and temperature control. Now let's take a look at some features common to all Nova controllers. All Nova units feature a universal input accepting 19 different input types including thermocouples, RTDs, and voltage ranges. A precision shunt resistor is available for 4 to 20 milliamp inputs. They all also come with one relay and one or two analog output standard. These outputs can be field programmed for a variety of purposes from alarms to PID control. Options such as additional outputs, digital inputs, and serial communications for use with Modbus or PC software is available throughout the line. There's a number of DIN sizes available throughout the series of Nova controllers, ranging from 1 16th all the way to 1 quarter DIN. The core features of the Nova line are divided amongst four series of controllers. Now let's take a look at each of those and see what their specialties are. The PD540 series is our most popular line of Nova controllers. It's a line of single loop auto tuning PID controllers that's available in a wide range of DIN sizes, including 1 16th. 1 8 vertical and horizontal, and 1 quarter DIN. The two-line display displays both the process variable that you're measuring, as well as the set point, which is your target to control to. Let's take a look at how they function. This is an example of our PD540 series of controllers, in this case, a PD546. The process variable is displaying the temperature being read by a thermocouple. The set point is the manually entered value that I want to control the process variable to. To change the set point, I use the front panel push buttons, and once my new set point has been entered, I press the set enter key to confirm the new value. Other ways to change the set point include digital inputs or serial communication options. However, entering them manually is the most common approach. The PD540 series has a wide range of versatile outputs, including analog outputs and relays. In this case, the relays are being programmed for on-off control to control our heat source. They could also be programmed in the field to be alarms, and the analog outputs can either be voltage pulse or 4 to 20 milliamp outputs, programmed to be retransmitting process variable or set point values, or used for PID control. In summary, the PD540 series auto tuning PID controllers provide you with an easy to use and very flexible controller that can be used for controlling a heater with a thermocouple input or controlling a valve positioner using a level transmitter input. Add in additional features such as their easy to set up auto tuning PID values, one parameter PID adjustments, easy to use auto manual and switching, or the available software and Modbus communications, and the PD540 is an excellent low cost controller for whatever standard PID applications you have. The PD550 series is very similar to the 540 series, including the universal inputs and programmable outputs. The main difference is that the PD550 series is a line of ramp and soak controllers. They're available in 1 16th, 1 8th, and 1 quarter DIN sizes, and each one has two programs of 15 segments each to help you build your temperature profiles. Let's take a look at one in action to show you the difference. This is an example of our PD550 series controllers, in this case a PD556. As you can see, it looks very similar to the 540 series, displaying the process variable, which again is a thermocouple input. However, this time the set point window displays a stop. The PD550s are only active when they're running a ramp and soak profile for their process variable. To begin running a program, I simply hold the P1 button to execute program 1. The set point will now follow the predetermined profile that I've built, including ramps and soaks. And when this segment is up, you'll see the set point begin to ramp up in the amount of time that I specified in the program. The key difference between this and a 540 series is on the 540 series, the set points are manually programmed. Here, you build more complex profiles with segments that you can skip, freeze, or reset. And again, they can each contain two programs or one, one single program for up to 15 or 30 segments. With the addition of Nova software through the Nova's serial communication options, these two ramp and soak programs can be built using easy to use computer software. In addition, they can be saved and downloaded to and from the PD550 series controllers. Digital outputs are also available for alarm or program status notification. The 
PD560 series is a basic meter line for when only indication and alarms are needed. It has no PID or on-off control. Other than that, it's similar to the other Nova controllers in every respect, including the multiple types of inputs, programmable output configurations, and a variety of DIN sizes. Finally, the PD570 series is a line of safety limit controllers. These controllers do not have PID control, but include a latching alarm relay that will only reset when the process variable is no longer in the alarm state and when manually reset by the user at the front panel. The set point display shows the alarm set point for the latching relay output. Nova controllers are a powerful, versatile, and economical line that offers you solutions to any of your control applications. For more information on any single line of Novas or the product line in general, please visit our website at www.predig.com. Thank you.